Once upon a time in a village, there was a farmer couple who were experienced in planting bean trees. The wife was Clara and the husband was Brent. Because of their experience, the beans were always verdant and prolific. Clara <laughs> took pride in her green fingers and her bean garden. Look, Brent, our beans are the biggest and freshest in the village. Hmm. Yes, Clara, it is also due to good weather. We are so lucky. You know nothing. It is all because of our great care. If it were other people, they wouldn't be able to do this despite the good weather. Huh? Hello. <laughs> oh, your beans look so fresh. Of course. <laughs> My garden barely huh? yielded any beans, and their quality was so bad. I wish that I could have a garden like yours. Clara, do you have a special trick? Hmm. Please let us know. It is all because of good weather and luck. I don't have any special tricks. <laughs> Why did you lie to our neighbors? We should share our technique with everyone. You don't know anything. If other people knew our secret, our garden wouldn't hold the first position in the village anymore. Never mind. Let's go collect the beans. <gasps> Brent was an honest person and respectful of his wife. Despite how many times he advised, Clara didn't change her mind. Huh? Oh God, huh? Brent, come here and look. Huh? There is a giant bean inside our garden. I've never seen such a giant bean before. Yes, me neither. If we used that for dinner, huh? it would be very delicious. No, you are so short-sighted. Huh? If we ate them, the giant beans would soon run out. Mm -hmm. But if we planted them, we could collect mm -hmm. batches of giant beans like this. Mm -hmm. Then came the next season. Clara and her husband planted the giant bean in the best quality soil, and they took care of it meticulously. <laughs> soon after, a bud sprouted on the surface, which made Brent and Clara <laughs> so happy. That night, Clara was relieved to go to sleep with great joy. Not long after, my giant bean tree will yield a lot of giant beans. Amazing! <laughs> when Clara woke up, she and Brent couldn't believe their eyes anymore. <gasps> the tree was planted one day ago, but now it reached the sky and yielded huge beans. Giant beans! They're everywhere! Oh, Brent, we are about to have a lot of money. We should share some with our neighbors since we collected lots of beans today. What? No sharing. If we sell these giant beans, they will cost a lot of money. How much money would we earn if we shared the beans with our neighbors? Wow, I wonder how high my bean tree is. I really want to climb to the top of it. No, Clara. It is very dangerous up there. I cannot even see the top. You are so coward. Let me do it. Not minding Brent's advice, Clara kept climbing up. She even climbed over the clouds. When she reached the top, Clara was surprised to see a divine person who looked angry was already mm. waiting there. So you are the owner of this tree. I have been waiting for you for a long time. I am the god of thunder who controls the reign of the human world. Look, drought is ravaging everywhere. It is because of you. No way! I didn't do anything! Why did you blame it on me? Your giant tree is as selfish as you are. It sucked all the water and nutrition in the soil so it can become huge like this, causing this land to be in a drought. And all other gardens couldn't grow beans well anymore. Therefore, you will be punished. And your punishment is helping me make rain. While I'm creating thunder, you use this watering can to pour rain down. Remember that you cannot use any other ways. Yes, I will. Then Clara had to take the punishment. While the god was creating thunder, Clara used the can to make rain for the world. I just need to water just a little for the others' gardens and save a lot more of water for my garden. <laughs> so my trees could keep fresh and giant like this. Then she just watered a little bit in other gardens. <laughs> However, that small <laughs> rain was quite appropriate for their gardens. Oh, thank you, gods! What a valuable rain! This is so great! While flying on the cloud with the thunder god, 
Clara finally <laughs> saw her garden, which was withering as other gardens. She poured a lot of water down, but she wasn't satisfied with that. This is still not enough. How can my garden become fresh with just that amount of water? There's no need to use this can. I will pour the tank down. It is much faster and has more water. Then my garden will become the best again. Clara poured the tank down and caused a heavy rain, which flooded her garden and the others. Then Clara became afraid. She couldn't stop the water from pouring down. Why didn't you listen to me? This water tank can't be stopped once you poured it down. Oh dear. Because of my greed, now everyone and my husband have to bear the consequences. What what should I do now? Please help me stop the water to save everyone, Thunder God. I will accept all punishments. I promise not to be selfish anymore. The Thunder God huh? swung his hammer and ordered his tank to stop. Ah, help me! Then she woke up and was still scared turned out that it was a dream. Huh? I have just had a really scary dream. Hmm. It was me who created a heavy rain huh? and flooded everything. What a coincidence. Look, there's an incoming rain. A heavy rain did happen, and it lasted for a long time. Soon after, all the soil was flooded. Clara's giant tree couldn't escape from this. The villagers arrived. They all wanted to protect huh? their gardens. This is our sweat and hard work. Dear gods, please stop this heavy rain. Fortunately, the rain eventually stopped, but everyone's <gasps> bean garden was spoiled. Without a word, everyone joined hands to help each other and share the beans they had left. Seeing everyone's kindness in difficult times, Clara was very regretful. I was so selfish the whole time, just wanted to keep all good things for me. I have never thought that sharing is so great like that. Everyone, let's help each other planting the bean gardens. I promise to share with you guys my secrets to taking care of them. Then they will become fresh again. Everyone <laughs> agreed with Clara. Brent was happy at his wife's change. With everyone's help, the bean gardens soon became fresh and prolific more than ever. Brent and Clara were respected and appreciated more. Since then, Clara stopped being selfish and wanting her garden to be the best anymore. She and her husband lived harmoniously, enjoyed the happiness from sharing.